Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to Bailati video So in this video, I will explain about properties of water So still in chapter 1, Molecules of Life And in subtopic 1.1, Water Since water is polar molecule and has ability to form hydrogen bond So that water has these properties Properties number 1 Universal Solvent Water is polar molecule and also able to form hydrogen bond Water can be a powerful solvent for ionic compound, polar substance and also organic molecule with ionized group Example of ionic compound is sodium chloride when a crystal of salt, which is sodium chloride, is placed in water, first, at the surface of each grain, sodium ion and chloride ion become exposed to the solvent. Partial positive hydrogen atom in water molecule attract the negatively charged ion, for example here, the chloride ion. Why? The partially negative oxygen atom in the water molecule attract positively charged ion example here is sodium ion so the result the ionic bond in sodium chloride become weaker ionic bond is getting weaker water molecule surround the individual sodium ion and chloride ion and form a hydration shell means that sodium ion and chloride ion they are being separated so this time we call the sodium chloride is being dissolved let's let's take a look how organic compound dissolve in water for example the glucose organic molecule like sugar dissolve in water due to the formation of hydrogen bond between water molecule and hydroxyl group in this organic molecule Since water is the universal solvent, water can act as medium for transportation of water-soluble substance within and between cells. Most of cell components including protein, polysaccharide and DNA dissolve in water. Other than that, metabolic reaction normally takes place in solution. Properties number 2 Water has low viscosity Viscosity is a measure of resistance of a liquid to flow Since we said water has low viscosity So the lower the viscosity, the easier the liquid flow Water has low viscosity because hydrogen bond between water molecules are being continuously broke and reformed, causing water molecules being able to slide easily over each other. Since water has low viscosity, water is suitable as a medium of transportation in living organism. For example, blood can flow easily with less friction to the narrow vessel in the circulation system. Water also can act as a good lubricant. Number one, we have mucus in our body. So the mucus help in movement of substance. The pericardial fluid in our heart, it may reduce friction between the heart and the rib cage. The synovial fluid will lubricate joint in vertebrae. Properties number 3 Water has high specific heat capacity. Guys, I want you to remember this the definition of specific heat capacity. It is referred to amount of heat that required to be absorbed 
a loss by 1 gram of substance to change its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Water has high specific heat because a lot of heat energy is required to raise or lower the temperature of water. This high energy is needed to break or to form the hydrogen bond. So the important is water can minimize fluctuation in temperature. Is the reason why our body temperature is maintained to a relatively constant temperature. Water also a good heat absorber. That's why in many vehicles, water is used to be a coolant. Properties number four: Water has high latent heat of vaporization. Let the heat of vaporization wait that simple. Please remember this. Let the heat of vaporization is referred to amount of heat that a liquid must absorb from one gram of heat to be converted from the liquid state to the gaseous state. Water has high latent heat of vaporization since a lot of energy is required to break its hydrogen bond to change water from liquid to vapor. Bond between water molecules make it difficult for them to be separated and vaporized. For a water molecule to evaporate, it must vibrate and move quickly enough to break all the hydrogen bond holding it to the other water molecule. Only the fastest moving of water molecule carry the most energy can break the hydrogen bond and escape as water vapor or we call it as gas. Since water has high latent heat of vaporization, so it will cause a cooling effect. The cooling effect is by sweating or panting. For example here, when a person body temperature begins to raise, he sweat. Evaporation of sweat uses a lot of heat energy. This energy has a cooling effect to the skin and help prevent overheating. In plant, the cooling effect is through transpiration process. For example, transpiration from green leaf gives a cooling effect because the escaping molecule absorb a lot of heat energy. Properties number 5. Water has high surface tension. Surface tension is a measure how difficult it is to be stretched or break the surface of a liquid. Surface tension of water is the tendency of the water surface to resist being broken. Molecule of water at the surface feel attraction only to molecule below and beside it. This is due to hydrogen bond. The inwardly cohesion forces produce high surface tension. So that's why small organisms able to walk on the surface of water. Properties number 6 Water exhibit capillary action To exhibit capillary action is due to cohesive forces that exist between water molecules since they are able to form hydrogen bond and also the adhesive forces that exist between water molecules and other surface for example xylem vessel element So the important, it will help the transport of water in plant. Properties number 7 and this is the last one. Water has maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. Water has maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. 
above 4 degrees Celsius, water become like other liquid. It will expand as it warms. But when the temperature is below than 4 degrees Celsius, the water begin to freeze and become to solid. So ice is a solid form of water. Usually, solid is more dense compared to liquid. So that's why ice is flowed on water. So that's why aquatic organism able to survive during winter. Guys, that's the end for subtopic 1.1 water. I will see you later on the next video and we will talk about carbohydrate. Bye!